This lesson deals with supplemental problem 2.8. You can find this problem in the ECE 302 ebook in the chapter 2 supplemental problems, starting on page 16. Since a diode varies linearly with temperature when it's forward biased, let's design a digital thermometer using a diode as a sensor, and let's use a cheap digital voltmeter as a display such that 803.3 millivolts corresponds to 80.33 degrees Fahrenheit. That's actually 27 degrees C and that 986.0 millivolts corresponds to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. This design is based on a magazine article in Popular Electronics that was entitled Build a Temperature Adapter for Your Digital Multimeter, which occurred in volume 14, number 1, on pages 48 to 50. Let's assume that the drop across the diode is 0.6 at 1 milliamp of current at 27 degrees C or 80.33 degrees Fahrenheit. In the chapter 2 notes, we know that the temperature coefficient of a diode is minus 2 millivolts per degree C. In other words, the drop across it decreases as temperature increases. We could describe the voltage across a diode at a specific temperature, call it T, by taking the following equation, the value at temperature T1, that would mean maybe our room temperature, plus the temperature coefficient times the change in temperature from the reference temperature to the current temperature. Our temperature coefficient is in volts per degree C. Let's convert that into volts per degree F, since we want to do a thermometer in Fahrenheit. The change in temperature in degree C is related to the change in temperature in degrees Fahrenheit by 5 ninths. Let's convert this then. So we'll take the change in voltage with respect to the change in temperature in degrees Fahrenheit by multiplying by the scale factor 5 ninths, which would have units of degrees C per degree F, and multiply that by our temperature coefficient of minus 2 millivolts per degree C. The degree C's cancel, and then 5 ninths times minus 2 milli is a minus 1.11 milli, and that will then be volts per degree Fahrenheit. We're not going to write an expression for our diode in terms of temperature, as being our value at our reference temperature of 80.33 degrees Fahrenheit, and then the temperature coefficient times the change in temperature. The temperature increases, this number will be negative, and we'll decrease in value, and if it gets cooler, it'll go the other direction. Let's start by biasing the diode. Suppose I have a 15 volt power supply and I want to bias this at 1 milliamp. So I'm going to hook up a resistor between the battery and the diode and pick the value of the resistor. I'm going to use a 1N4148 diode. This is one of the diodes we use in the 303 lab. It's a very small diode, so it'll make a nice temperature sensor. What's the voltage across here? Well, we've got 15 volts. We'd like this to be 0.6 when we have 1 milliamp of current. We can then solve for R1. It's going to be 15 minus 0.6 divided by 1 milliamp and that's 14.4K. And your standard resistor is 15K. That's super critical, but we want to be somewhere around 1 milliamp. As we change the temperature from 80.33 degrees C to 98.6, what's the change in the voltage across the diode? Our temperature coefficient times this change in temperature, which is about 18.27 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's 20.2797 millivolts. In our multimeter, we'll be taking the difference of these two voltages, and that'd be 182.7 millivolts. So I need to increase this to be as large as this. In other words, I need an amplifier. What I need to have then is 182.7 millivolts divided by 20.2797 millivolts. In other words, a gain of nine. Multiply this by nine, I get this value. Let's use a non-inverting amplifier and let's use a 15 volt power supply to power it. In other words, plus and minus 15. Here's our design so far. We've got a biasing circuit for our diode. This will be our temperature sensor. And then I'm going to have a resistor ratio here plus one that will give me nine. We'll pick that in a little bit. At room temperature, we're going to have 0.6 volts across here. This is our 27 degrees C or 80.33 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's, that's going to be equal to the gain of the amplifier times 0.6, which is nine times that, which is 5.4 volts. And then if I increase the temperature, this will become 20.2797 millivolt change from the 0.6 multiplied by nine. That gives me 5.2175 at 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So the difference comes out correct, but these are not the values I want to display on the multimeter. What we want is to display 803.3 millivolts when the voltage V2 is equal to 5.4 volts and 986 millivolts when V2 is equal to 5.2175 volts. Cheap digital multimeter, voltmeter, is floating because it's battery operated and takes the difference of two node voltages. Node voltage 2 is going to decrease with increasing temperature to change this polarity sign on V2 so that we can get an increase in voltage with an increase in temperature. We could do that with an op-amp circuit or simply use the negative terminal of the digital multimeter. We need to create a voltage V3 
such that V3 minus V2 is going to be 803.3 millivolts at 80.33 degrees Fahrenheit. In other words, the difference of V3 and that 5.4 volts that we had on top, that means that V3 is 6.203 volts. Likewise, at 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, the difference of these two node voltages, this is going to now be 5.2175, needs to be 986 millivolts. Solving that, we get V3 is equal to 6.203 again. The reason for this is that the variation with temperature is a straight line. I need to create a voltage of 6.203 volts. I've got a 15 volt battery and a minus 15 volt battery, so I'll use the plus battery terminal, and I'll do a voltage divider with two resistors called R4 and R5. Here's our final design. We've got a reference voltage of 15 volts. We'll create a voltage divider to create the voltage 6.203. And use that battery to bias the diode at room temperature. Suppose that we're holding the tip of this diode with our fingers, or maybe pressing it against our skin, and then we've got this gain of nine circuit. We're going to use the cheap digital multimeter to take the difference of these two voltages. What's showing up here as a difference is that we had our equation for the diode, temperature-wise, multiplied by a factor of nine, and do a sign change. That's where we're getting the minus sign here and the minus sign here. We're multiplying nine by that 1.1 millivolts per degree Fahrenheit. Let's turn that into 10 millivolts per degree Fahrenheit. That's exactly what we need for the digital multimeter changes. We've already picked R1 to be 15K, the nearest standard resistor. And now I've got a pick of resistor ratio here to give me a gain of 9. It's 1 plus the resistor ratio of R3 over R2. ECE203, we talked about picking resistors for op-amp circuits. And we said that to try to pick a resistor bigger than 1K and smaller than a megal. And the reason for that is that if you pick something smaller than 1K, you may draw too much current. Most op amps are limited to about 20 some milliamps in or out. You want to stay away from that if we can. With a 15 volt power supply in 1K, that would just be 15 milliamps, plus or minus. And then on the other end, at the one megohm range, resistors generate noise. And we don't want this to create a noise signal that give us maybe a false reading. We'll talk more about noise in later courses. Pick something in between, I picked 47K. Totally arbitrary, you could pick another resistor value. A 1 plus 47K over R2 would have to equal 9. Bring this over here, I've got an 8. Cross multiply, and I've got R2 then is 47K over 8, or 5.875K. That's not a standard resistor value, so I'm going to use a pot and then adjust it to give me the value that I want. Likewise, I've got to pick a resistor R4 or R5 and solve for the other one. Again, I'll use, uh, say, a 4.7K resistor. Again, you can pick anything you want between 1K and 1 meg. And then I have a voltage divider with 15 volts the resistor R5 and 4.7K, and I want that to be equal to 6.203. The resistors also vary with temperature. We're going to use the diode as a tip for probing a temperature, but this can also be measuring room temperature. But because I have a ratio of resistors here, they'll be changing by the same percentage. This won't change hardly at all with temperature. Let's take the R5 and divide it in here, and divide it in here, so I've got 1 plus this ratio. Bring this over here, and then take the reciprocal of it. I simply have to equate this quantity to this one solve for R5. Take the 1 and put it on this side of the equation. And then I'll bring the R5 over here and then divide by this quantity. That's what this is equal here. Turn out to be 3.314K. And I'll use a 10K pot to adjust this. The ECE303 lab, there is a procedure for calibrating the circuit based on, of course, what we just did here, but also the fact that the drop across the diode may not exactly be 0.6 volts at 1 milliamp. It would depend on the specific value of A to I sub S. But this is the theory behind this thermometer design. This is supplemental problem 2.8.